Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, we'll be talking about the recent bill that was presented in Texas uh, regarding shutting down membership poker clubs. This bill is something that has been in the works for quite some time now and something that authorities have started to crack on more and more in the last few months. This comes after, in October, the Watuga Social Lounge Poker Club was raided by local authorities with players being fined and at least half a dozen staff members being arrested and booked into the county jail. Players were in the middle of a $100,000 tournament when police showed up and told everyone inside to raise their hands. The warrant to search the club was signed by Judge George Gallagher on Friday, October 7th of 2022, more than two days before the raid happened. The reasoning behind the raid was that you couldn't see inside the windows to see what was going on and they wanted to look for non-poker related gambling items such as dice, roulette wheels, video gambling supplies, etc. in violation of the Texas Penal Code Chapter 47. It was the day two of the club's fall classic poker $420 buy-in, $100,000 guarantee main event. The tournament featured a $20 optional dealer add-on offered six starting flights and was planned to live stream the final table as many clubs do now. There were 369 entries of which generated a $132,840 prize pool. The raid happened during level 16 with only 49 players remaining. All players in attendance were each fined $360 and were asked questions like, how long have you played here? Are you a member? How much did you pay to enter the tournament? And more. With that being said, the new bill is looking to close the loopholes that these businesses have used to circumvent Texas's anti-gambling laws. These changes would be significant as it eliminates a defense that these rooms have used to stay open in the past. There are three things that would consider gambling in Texas illegal. And those things being, number one, it cannot happen in a public pace. Number two, the house cannot take a cut of the bets. And number three, a fair and equitable chance at winning. Many of the clubs in Texas are said to be private clubs or social clubs where you pay a daily, monthly, or yearly membership to play at so you're technically a member of that private club. Technically, it isn't a public location at that point when it's said that it's a private club. Players use their skill in order to win. If you don't have the skill, then you'll end up losing, so that means there isn't a fair and equitable chance at winning. Texas Representative Gene Wu's bill would determine these clubs as private residences, similar to a home game and not a business, which would effectively close all of these clubs down, although that's not what they're doing. In the last year or two, Texas card rooms have blown up. It's something brand new for Texas, uh, although they've never really had gambling outside of the early illegal clubs that existed in the 50s and 60s. They've had tremendous publicity on YouTube via poker vloggers like Doug Polk, Brad Owen, and Andrew Nimi, who have played at places such as The Lodge and more. They've been a part of tournaments, hosted meetups, and done just so much. Having poker in Texas is something that would do nothing but amazing things to the state and economy, and that's something that I don't think is being seen at the current moment. The Texas Card House in Dallas, let's say, has 200 employees that would lose their job and over $2 million in construction and business renovations would be lost. I mean, that's a lot of money and tons of jobs lost. If this were to happen, players would just go to other states to gamble. States like Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, and New Mexico to play if they wanted to. Is that making Texas any money at that point? No. I do understand that this is something new for Texas and the government, but I think they should really take a look at how it's done around other parts of the U.S. I believe Kentucky was actually another state that just got approval for gaming, which is huge. If Texas wants to have gaming to be a part of its culture, economy, and more, then they need to take a look at, let's say, Nevada or California. States that have had gambling around for decades and see what's been done to keep it legal, controlled, and done in ways where cheating or wrongdoings could be minimized if they're worried. Poker is a social game, and it's a game that many around the world love to play. Tournaments and cash games are hosted on WSOP, GG Poker, America's Card Room, and others almost 24-7. 
it's a game in which people could be very interested in at an early age or into their mid 50s. You just never know. All I know is that Texas needs to take a step back, look at the big picture and really think if this is the right thing to do. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop a like. If you have any comments, put those down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.